This is a demonstration of using NetBeans for remote C++ programming on a Linux server. This video assumes that you already have NetBeans installed and running on the machine. Launch NetBeans by searching for it using Spotlight. In Spotlight, type NetBeans and press the Enter key to launch NetBeans. It takes a few seconds for NetBeans to start up. And when NetBeans starts up, view the remote tools on the NetBeans toolbar. Then click on Manage Hosts to add the Linux server that you want to work on. In order to add the Linux server, click on Manage Hosts. A dialog will pop up. Click the Add button and type in your host name which is the name of the Linux server that you want to program on. Click the next button, type in your user ID, type in your password when you're prompted to do so, and now NetBeans will connect to the remote server and configure it. Make sure that you select SFTP as the mode for saving files, that's very important. Click the finish button and set the new server as your default host. Now you are ready to program on the remote machine. You should see a green icon indicating you are connected successfully. Click on to create a new remote project. Make sure you select the Miami project. You give your project a name. Typically you'll name it the name of the exercise or homework you're working on. Typically it's good to have your main program with the same name so it's easy to identify. Click the Finish button and your project will be created on the remote server. Now you can drill into the set of files and folders for your project. Typically open up the main file by simply double clicking on it. And once the main file is open, it's just a plain text editor. You can edit the source code and type out your program as you normally would in any other text editor or an integrated development environment. And once you type out your code, you can save it by simply clicking Mac key S to save it. Compile it. Uh, make sure you do not have any syntax errors or compiler errors or any style violations. In this video, you see a style violation there, um, which requires me to add a copyright message on the bare minimum to take ownership of the code that I'm working on. Get rid of any extraneous comments that might be part of the template. You want to keep your source code clean. Now clicking the Run button will compile the program and run it on the remote server.